Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we are learning the tarot cards one card at a time. Today's card is number 13 in the Major Arcana, the Death Card. I use the Rider Waite Tarot deck, so you'll find the link below as well as many of the books I've used in my research. So in this video, we'll discuss what the death card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the card, the meaning of the death card when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life, and at the end I'll provide you with some questions to help you better connect with the death card. So let's get started. Alright, so we've reached the death card, probably the most recognized and feared card in the tarot deck. I was talking to someone last week who had a reading more than 30 years ago when she was a teenager, and she clearly remembers getting the death card and being absolutely terrified. And it was her friend's father who was learning how to read tarot cards, and he didn't realize it had any meaning beyond, you know, you're going to die any day soon. So that did not help her. Anyway, as you'll learn in this video, getting the death card does not mean that you or someone you know is going to pass away. So in this card, we see a yellow skeleton wearing black armor, riding on a white horse with red eyes. He's wearing a black helmet with a red feather. His right hand holds onto a horse's bridle. His left hand is holding onto a black banner with a white rose. On the ground, we see a monarch who is clearly dead. In the lower right corner, we see a young boy who is staring directly at the rider and a young girl who is looking away. There is also a religious figure who is standing and wearing yellow. The foreground is yellow and black. In the middle, we see a blue river. On the right side, below the gray sky, we see two gray pillars with the sunrise prominently visible between them. Generally, the death card signifies swift change, transformation, or rebirth. Think about it. When we die, our bodies go into the earth and become fertilizer. Our spirit also moves on and, depending on your beliefs, is reborn at some point in the future. So death is about transformation from one state to another. The death card can also symbolize things in our life that need to end. This might be addictions, bad habits, an unfulfilling career, the location where you are living, or an unhealthy relationship. If you've ever experienced the death of a loved one, it can be a lesson about what is truly important. So this card can be a message that life is short and it's time to get rid of things in your life that are not important and focus on what is important. The death card can signify changes in health, for better or worse. And finally, it can literally mean death, but it usually applies to someone who is chronically ill or someone who is elderly. So let's talk about the symbols in the death card. First of all, we have a skeleton riding a horse. And that means that he is above everyone on the ground. This shows us that death's power is greater than the others shown in the card. The death card is based on the biblical passage regarding the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which refers to death riding in on a pale horse. The white horse represents purity and shows that death can be the ultimate purifier. The horse has red eyes, which are a symbol of passion and action. The arrival of the skeleton on the horse signifies that death is inevitable. It is interesting that the rider does not have any weapons. Of course, a skeleton is the only part of your body to survive after you die. You'd expect the skeleton to be white, and yet this one is yellow. According to Pam Richards in her book Understanding Tarot, when the deck was created in 1909, it was around the time that vaccinations were invented. There were many Victorian anti-vaccination promotions that had yellow skeletons. Yellow represented a challenge to life and also money, both the excessive amounts of money that doctors got paid and also the cost of getting sick. His left bony hand is holding onto a black flag that has a white rose surrounded by five ears of corn. The white rose symbolizes beauty, purification, and rebirth qualities that we don't normally associate with death, at least in Western society. Many tarot scholars believe that this is the Tudor Rose, which represents England's transformation from the destruction of the War of the Roses to the peace of the Tudor dynasty. The corn symbolizes the harvest. The death character is harvesting souls. 
The rider is wearing black armor and a black helmet. Black symbolizes loss and endings. The death character is protected by his armor, whereas the other people in the card have no such protection. There is a white cross on the chest plate that represents the purification that happens with death. Usually a rider's face would be hidden by a helmet, but that is not the case in death. It is obvious who he is and what he is doing. The helmet has a red feather. Red traditionally symbolizes blood and the life force that is within you. In this case, the feather is wilted and it is another symbol of death. We can see the feather in two other places in the Major Arcana, in the Fool, which is card number zero, and the Sun, card number 19. In these cards, the feather is standing straight up, which shows vitality. His right hand holds onto the horse's bridle. You can see that the bridle is adorned with skulls and bones. On the ground, we see several people who are of different ages, genders, and social classes. This represents that death does not discriminate. We can also see that each person has a different view towards death. On the right side of the card, we see a religious man with a yellow hat and yellow robes. Yellow symbolizes that he is religious. He is looking directly at the horse. This represents religious beliefs that allow people to face death without fear and maybe even welcome it. In the right corner, we see a maiden. She is wearing a white dress and looking away from death. Her white dress represents innocence. It is hard to see, but she has dropped a pink flower, which shows the end of her innocence. This is one response to death. Look away and pretend it isn't there. We also see a young boy in a blue tunic. He is young and curious. It is possible that he's too young to really know what is happening. I think that is interesting because I'm sure his beliefs will change as he grows up. On the ground is a king who is clearly dead and appears to have been trampled by the horse. You can see that the crown has been knocked off his head. This demonstrates that we can't resist death, even if we have an important position. It also looks like his death was a surprise. The fact that there are four individuals on the ground is significant. They can represent the four people in the court cards, a family of four, or the four elements, which are fire, water, air, and earth. The foreground is yellow and black. As mentioned earlier, yellow represents spirit or religion. It can also represent the sun, which is life-giving. Black represents death and also darkness, showing that we have cycles from day to night and also cycles from life to death. In the middle is a blue river. Once again, this indicates that death is part of the flow of life. On the left side of the river, we see an Egyptian boat that represents the Egyptian belief that death was a transition from one state to another. We believe that the boat represents Hades, who carried souls across the river. On the right side, below the gray sky, we see two gray pillars that are the same pillars we see in the moon car. These pillars might represent the gates of heaven. The sun represents spirit. It is shining, although it is not clear if it is rising or setting. Once again, this reminds us of daily cycles of darkness and light. Death is simply a part of the cycles of life. When the death card appears in an upright position, it signifies that it's time to get ready. Some part of your life is about to be transformed. It's also time to act like the horseman and end things that no longer serve you. This card also represents an opportunity to choose your beliefs about death. Will it be a surprise or will you be prepared? Are you curious? Do you want to deny that it's going to happen? Or do you want to have beliefs that will help you cope when death finally shows up in your life, like the religious person who's looking directly at it? This card is a reminder that life is fragile and our physical body does not last forever. It's time to take care of your health. The death card can represent grief, literally as someone who has passed away or you've had some other big loss in your life that you are grieving. The death card might also be a suggestion that you should make preparations for your death, for example, by creating a will if you haven't already done so. I have elderly family members who have prepaid for their funerals, and that is another option. So here's an example from my life. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned this in earlier cards, but our lives have been transformed a couple of times when my husband had a job change that required a big move. The first move took us from Toronto, Canada to Phoenix, Arizona, and the second move took us from Phoenix, Arizona to Long Island, New York. Both job changes were swift and certainly transformed our lives. While neither change was welcome at the time, especially the move from Arizona to New York was difficult as my kids were preteens and not thrilled to leave their lives behind. In some ways, both moves felt like a death. However, it turned out that once we got accustomed to the New York accent, it was not as terrible as we had thought. When the reversed death card appears in a reading, it can mean that you are avoiding change and transformation. It's time to accept that change is inevitable and move on to another phase of your life. It could mean that you are stuck or stagnating in some part of your life, or you are experiencing pain from letting something go in your life. Death has a big presence and people have no choice to follow it. In a reversed position, it may mean the opposite, that nobody is paying attention to you. It could mean that you are not taking care of your health or you are avoiding thinking about death. Or you could be taking risks that could make death come sooner, such as abusing drugs or not wearing a seatbelt when you are in a car. And death reversed can literally mean birth. So here's my personal example of starting to take care of my health. I have a very strong family history of diabetes. And for many decades, I was in denial. I was significantly overweight and I had a big sweet tooth. Over the years, I've lost a lot of weight and I stopped eating sugar. Finally, I decided it was time to get out of denial and see my doctor and find out if I really did have diabetes. So he tested my A1C, which measures the percentage of hemoglobin proteins that are covered with sugar. And it, it lets you know if your blood sugar over a long period of time has been high. So I did not have diabetes, but now I am obsessed with keeping that number as low as possible, and I get it tested at least twice a year. I got out of denial and stopped taking risks with my health. So here are some questions to help you connect with the death card. One, how do you handle loss? Do you accept that it is part of life and necessary for transformation? Or do you resist change? Number two, what parts of your life do you need to change? Do you need to relocate to a new city or find a new apartment? Is it time to end a relationship or move on from your current employment to find something else? Do you have health issues that you're in denial about? Number three, now that you've identified areas that need changing, what actions should you be taking? Number four, where in your life is it time to stand your ground and make people pay attention to you? And number five, have you made preparations for your death? Are you an organ donor? Do you have a will? Does your family know the location of your bank account so that they can inherit your vast fortune or pay off your debt? So I'd love to have you post your answers in the comments below. And please stay tuned for the next video, which is card number 14, Temperance.